Abo hul chiza ba yomba tukula tira umuchere cha higuru. And those who will watch uh, even on the, um, on the YouTube. Kani na nabo abara turewe aha YouTube channel. Who's joining us from all around the world. Kani vona ba tuwekistreho omosiona. The Lord Jesus is here. Yesu Christo ariaha. He is a faithful God. No mwe sikuwa. We thank God that he gives us an opportunity to meet and pray. He gives us an opportunity to seek his face. And for those who are joining for the very first time, uh, those who are listening over the radio for the very first time, uh, this one uh, is uh, the global healing service. Kandeji ni global healing service. Here we get to minister to the sick. Aha ha nitwantwereza hari abaruire because there are people who are listening on the radio. Akwara abantu bashiza radio from all around western Uganda. Omuri burenge resolve. There are millions of people who tune into this program in western Uganda. Nabantu nyamwinji abakurikiza iki program mu burenge resolve. Because of that we have to uh, translate and put uh, the local language. So bear with us, those of you who don't understand the local language. Mm. If we are slower than you are used to, mm. it's because there is somebody who does not understand English that we want to be able to receive. I want you to know that. It's the nature of Jesus to heal. It's the nature of Jesus to bless. It's the nature of Jesus to deliver. And today, he will set you free. Today, he will heal you. Today you will do something in your life. You know, when I was coming, I was thinking about something that we used to hear people say when we were growing up. There was a question called, what would Jesus do? There were even uh, bands that people would put on on their arms and ribbons with the words, what would Jesus do? There were t-shirts, what would Jesus do? The whole, the whole idea was that, you know, before you reacted in any situation, you should always think about what would Jesus do. Because when you are at the workplace and you are faced with a situation, you ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Uh, if somebody abuses you, you ask yourself a question before before speaking back. You ask yourself a question, what would Jesus do? Wa omuntu ya kujuma okoibanza kuibuza Yesu Kristo akorachi. Today I have a question. Elizani ne chibuzo. In line with that. Kande chidiom omorini roro. If Jesus came where you are. Yesu Kristo kuyo kuiza hodi. And found you sick. Aka kushango ruide. What would he do? Aka kuzrechi. What would Jesus do if he was told that you are on your sick bed? What would Jesus do if he was told that your relative is very sick? Because when they told us, when that message came through about what, would, what Jesus would do, um, it was about compassion. It was about loving your neighbor. It was about reacting well. It was about helping people. Which is extremely very important. 
kandi ebyo byona nebyo mugasho it was and is still an important question to ask yourself because kaba kiriye cyo mugasho kandi na hatine cyo mugasho kwebu kukebu what would jesus do yesu kristo akakoze rekiye you know but my question today ekibuzo cyanje rizoba is in regards to a person who is sick kandi ni nchibuza omuntori okwa ruire what would jesus do for them yesu kristo akaba kolinde what would Je- that's my message today obombo bituma bwangeri zoba what would jesus do yesu kristo akakozere now when you look in the scriptures ware bombya handikirwe you ha- you get an idea of what jesus would do no reba echi yesu kristo yakora and what jesus would do Mm. is what the father would do na ngwechi yesu kristo arukubasa kora nicho tata arukubasa kora what jesus would do because jesus came to reveal to us the father yesu kristo akija kutushurura tatitwe in john chapter 14 he told the disciples that if you have seen me you have seen the father omuri yohane shura 14 akatugamba ko kureba nyowe obara uware tata you know he he when we he, he came to reveal to us the will of the father akiza kutretera enteka teka ya ruhanga actually mm. in still in that john 14 jesus said that whatever i see my father do that is what i do nangwa omu yohane 14 katuja echinkure batatari kora na yini chikora so what jesus would do is what the father was already doing in heaven. Eh ki Yesu Kristo ari kubasakora nicyo tata yabase koro mu iguru. Aha. So what would Jesus do for your situation? Yesu Kristo naza kora chembere. When you are reading the Bible, kokusha ma Bible, you are trying to answer that question. Or you know Jesus kugaruka me kibuze cyo. What would Jesus do about my daughter? Yesu Kristo akakozire cha mwana wanje. For me when I see the scriptures, yoku kureba byahandikirwe. Ah we have been in Matthew chapter 8 for this man. Tube turyo muri Matayo eshura ya 8 kwezo ku. There is a leper who came to Jesus. Akaro ho mubembe owezari Yesu Kristo. The leper asked Jesus, he told Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean. No omubenda kagambira Yesu Kristo waba no yenda no basakuyeza. Matthew chapter 8 and verse uh, verse 2. Matayo eshura ya munana umshorongo gwa kabiri So the leper he asked Jesus if you're willing you can make me clean Na ngomo bembe akagamba Yesu Kristo waba no chenda basa kunchiza And the Bible says in verse 3 Nanga omushura ya omunyiri wa kasha ku Bible ne tugambira And he reached out his hand Yesu Kristo yatekayo omukono gwe And he touched him Ya mukwataho And he said I am willing yamja ninjetenga so what would jesus do yesu kristo akakozere he would touch na kwata and he would heal ashemeza and he would say i am willing kana gamba nilikunikunda no prose in that day of evembe mirebyo was what hiv is today bikari nkasirimo okwe hati was what diabetes is today na shukari kokwe hati was what heart disease is today ni okoku rwaro mutima kokwe hati let prose represents every incurable condition na ngwe vembe byona ndi bizwechera edwara yoneta ko every allergy that has failed to be treated buri ndwara yona yanje ku Matthew chapter 8 verse 3 It shows us what Jesus would do to that situation. The leper was not sure what Jesus would do. He knew that Jesus is able to do it. But he was not sure that Jesus wanted to do it for him kokakata akata chima yangu Yesu Kristo na na basachi mukorera. Came to him and said, "Ah, If you are willing you can make me clean. Akaijari Yesu Kristo yamujatu waba no basa basa kunyeza. Jesus said I am willing. Yesu Kristo yamujatu ninkunda. Be cleansed by being pure. Shemera. 
and he put his hand on him. Yate komu konogwe. I want somebody to know today. Nienda oriyo kwa ushiza mayeri zoba. That if it comes to your insurable condition. Chikuiza ahandware takuchira. If Jesus was present in the body today. Yesu Christo kiyo kubariyo mdurugu wa wedi. If Jesus was walking in your city today. Yesu Christo kiyo kwa natambromu chibuga cha wedi zoba. And you came before him and asked him what he would do. He would heal because it is his nature to heal. It is it is the immediate response. Now, mm. this Jesus that we see in Matthew chapter 8. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he would do yesterday, he does today. And he will do next week. That's why I tell people that if you don't see the manifestation of healing today, don't give up. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Forever includes next week or next month or next year. So if I have not seen it today, it is not a concluded deal that I will not see. His, this Jesus is the same yesterday. He is the same today and is the same forever. That's why some people got their testimonies last year. Others got their testimonies last month. Others are getting their testimony today. Others will get their testimony next month. Because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What would he do? What he did then is what he will do today. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that he is interested in your healing. I'm convinced. You know, I, 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 me when I read these scriptures, I see these things. A centurion came to Jesus. I talked about him also the other day. This centurion had a servant who was a uh, was sick on the verge of death. And this guy said in verse 6 of Matthew chapter 8, My servant boy is lying at the house paralyzed. He is paralyzed. And he has intense pain. The question is, what would Jesus do? Yes, of course, when somebody is paralyzed, when somebody has intense pains, I thank God for you, Joy. He healed you. I remember your testimony in beating me. He said, He healed you of diabetes. The power of God is present to heal diabetes. The same God who healed joy of diabetes. He will also heal you. He healed joy yesterday. Your turn could be today. Or oh, your turn could be next month. You see, joy's turn was somebody's tomorrow. Uh, what would Jesus do? You know, when you are paralyzed, when you have intense pain, these stories are in the Bible for our benefit. When they called me last week, they called me a cousin of mine had become unconscious. She was in a coma. She had been attacked. 
akaba arundirwe and was in a coma kanda kari yo mukoma the mother called me screaming onyina kantera arukurira and say pray 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 yanga mbira shaba 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 I had been reading the Bible. Kani so ma Bibli. I was reading the portion when Jesus came to Jairus' daughter. Kani kani so ma cha handichwe obu Yesu Kristo iza ahinda na. And the the little girl dead. Kandi ashanga ogwe mu safire. And he told the people she's not dead, she is sleeping. Ya gambra bantu tafire ko. And the Bible says Jesus held her hand. Yes, Bible ne tukama Yesu Kristo akakwatu mu kolo. And he told her little girl alive. Ya mje mu chiwe yimuka. So I knew that for somebody who is in a coma or is dead what Jesus would do is not to say call funeral services call put announcements on the radio we need to change our mindset to Jesus mindset if we are to see the power of God we need to start thinking the way God thinks we need to start looking at situations the way God looks at situations so in my mind when I was praying for that girl the only thing I kept thinking about Jesus would say to her Yesu Kristo akamugambi little girl i say to you arise mwishiwe ni mgambira yimuka so I, i remember even writing in my bible that this is how they raise the dead ni yukandi kwandika no bibliya je okunuko bakuyimusya aba to raise the dead you call them back you call their name back no that is what jesus would do when he appeared before Lazarus when Martha said ah, you can't go there by now he's smelling Jesus didn't say let's get people to treat the body ah yesu kristo taradzire aterekatwe tabantu babanze bamuze take me to where you have laid him if we are to see the work of Jesus we must do things the way Jesus did because we are his representatives here we are his ambassadors here hey. So I kept praying. The little girl I said to you arise. Right. I was praying over the phone she was very far. So the little girl I said to you arise. Right. I called her name back I said I called you back in your body. This was last week. Afterwards I said the message said how is she now? The mother sent us a message and said she has regained consciousness. She's now taking juice. Hey, because I kept thinking what would Jesus do I decided to say what Jesus would say concerning your situation concerning your daughter concerning your child deal with them the way Jesus would deal with them lay hands on them but take him kono and speak what Jesus would speak when the guy said my servant is at home paralyzed kuyagambe omushira kuyagamba tumuhereza wadeli mukazinga zinjwe esura esura yamsha reveals what Jesus would do ne gamba echesu Kristo yakozire it says and Jesus said to him i will come and restore Yesu Kristo yamgarukamu yajakanyije mukize you see that was the natural the natural reaction aho noreba chikashirye cyo kugarukwa that was you know religion has given us other ways to react noreba edini etwire emiringo miji yo kugaruka past experiences have given us other ways to react ebitura viremo bituretire emiringo yo kugaruka what we have heard from other people have given us other ways to react ebiturira abantu abandi bitwerize emiringo yo kugaruka what we have experienced in the past 
has given us other ways to react. But if we are to see the hand of God, we must start learning to react the way Jesus would react. You know, when we are praying for that God, we are praying different members of the family. And I would sense that some were really praying out of panic. Some were really praying out of fear. Some were really praying out of, um, um, what would I say? They were praying out of condemnation. This is because we have not been praying. This is because we have been prayerless. Oh God. No. When when the when the lepers and these people came to Jesus, he never panicked. Really that night I I can tell you I was praying without panic. I even sent them a voice note. I said, we refuse to pray with panic. We refuse to pray out of fear. We, 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 refuse, to, we refuse to do this. This Jesus. He is, no, he is waiting on us to do things on his behalf. He is waiting on us to move for him. You know, God told uh, this guy, God told Isaiah that, Whom shall I send and who shall go for us? Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 Whom shall I send and who shall go for us? You know, this Jesus is Lord, I tell you the truth. What would he do? He said, I will come and restore him. I'm seeing a, a, a wonderful testimony from somebody in the upper room. Those, those listening on the radio, you might be wondering, what is the upper room? The upper room is that it's a place where we meet with people all over the world and pray together. It's online. You can send a message to somebody, uh, to our number at the end of this program. And they will share with you the link how you can join the upper room. We meet every day from 5 to 6 and 1 to 2 p.m. Even right now, the upper room is in session. Just that they have joined themselves to us who are listening on the radio. Now, when we come before God, when we are praying, we are telling Jesus, do for us what we have seen you do in the Gospels. We have seen what you did 2,000 years ago. Do it again. We believe it is what you would do. You know, this testimony in the upper room, it might bless somebody. I'm just so amazed at the goodness of God. It's from Betty. Uh, uh, Betty, not Betty is following from where you need to tell us where you are attending the upper room from so that people can know. People on the on the radio. Tell us where tell them where you are uh, where you are following from. Mm. I'm amazed at the goodness of God. High blood pressure gone completely. It's been one month and 21 days off medication. Uh, and taking the things that have been told not to take. And the pressure has been absolutely and beautifully normal. 
and that pressure ibasekwa ni tete. But the pains miraculously no more. Ukusha shakumbiri kona kujenze. There's a response I was waiting for, and I was praying that by 28 Feb there should be something. Kani kani shaba upaka ibrahim na muna na mpyo kwa kabiri haja cha wapo. No, 28 Feb for those on the radio, 28 Feb was the last day of our prayer and fasting for 28 days. No rea ba ya radio ibrahim na muna na mpyo kwa kabiri chikaa chige chelo cha mpyo ukoko shaba kuito. She says, on 28 at 11:54 p.m. the email arrived. Na wa na na jira a ibrahim na muna na esha haita nuzetiro kafuna ubutumwa six minutes to midnight. Hakuwe na chika mukaga kubasha mukaga zetiro. If this isn't God, who is it? Oguyata rohanga no. Now, what God did for Betty? Zetiro hanga ya kuri de Betty. My, my, what I'm always trying to tell you is what God did for Betty he can do for you. You know, it, it might not happen today, but it will happen tomorrow or next month. Or it will happen. Just stay there. Just stay there. There's a reason why we have stories of the man who was sick for 38 years the woman who had the bent back for 18 years have and uh, the woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years and the man whose child was epileptic since birth all those people they had conditions for a long time but one day they encountered Jesus they had their day you will have your day I declare to you you will have your day the same God that healed joy of diabetes all these people are testifying in the upper room the same God that healed the Betty of, uh, of, uh, of uh, this thing hypertension Pressure, the same God who raised my cousin last week out of a coma. That same God, he is alive. He is alive. Jesus is alive. Yesu Kristo ahurire. He is alive forevermore. Ahurire kumare bro byona. Ah Becky is also testifying. Becky ayona herezo bujuri. The mother has registered improvement over the last two weeks. Nina ayona afuna okujanza zakanda ayona ayona. She is persistent in prayer. Abena shaba munoga. I speak total healing. Ninshabira okuchizwa in the glorious name of Jesus. You know there is a reason why we have that man who was blind. And Jesus touched him. And then he asked him, do you see anything? The man said, I, I see people but they are like trees. And Jesus touched him again. And he saw clear that story tells us that sometimes your, your healing might not be immediate but what would Jesus do if you are not healed instantly what would Jesus do if you say that um, I see people but they are like trees I have some improvement but it is not a hundred percent. What would Jesus do? He wouldn't say I go to the village, you'll be okay. He wouldn't say oh, there is a woman I know in the village who can give you something. What Jesus did for that blind man is that he touched him again. Why we keep doing the healing service is that we want to create an opportunity for Jesus to touch you again. Never, never get tired of uh, 
of 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 what of coming back to Jesus. Say they prayed for me yesterday. Why should I go back? They prayed for me last week. Why should I go there? There's always another touch. There's always another release. The anointing is always flowing. Actually, right now I pray for somebody you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Dear Jesus, touch them again. Dear Jesus, touch them again. Yesu Kristo bakwate ogundo murundi touch her again mukwate ho touch him again mukwate ho in the mighty name of Jesus Kristo touch that back again kwato go mugongo ogundo murundi touch that head again kwato go mutwe ogundo murundi touch that blood again kwate je shagama ogundo murundi I tell you the truth nikugambira mazima he can heal you of that blood disease na basakukira na basakukiza eje ndwara ye shagama what would Jesus do? Yes, so Christo, that is the I know all of us have ever asked that question. All of us, maybe you have ever seen somebody put him on a t-shirt. Jesus do. Yes, so or you put on a uh, what is it called? Ribbon or something on your arm. Rest. Oh. Rest band. What would Jesus do? Yes, Christo akakoze. What would Jesus do? Yes, Christo akakoze. Now today I'm I'm bringing to you an idea. That if you appeared before Jesus, and you had a sickness, kandi the, the immediate response. The, the, you you read Matthew chapter eight verse. Verse 16. Matthew 8, 16 says, When evening came, they brought him many who were under the power of demons, and he drove out the spirits with a word. <laughs> Listen to, uh, now, let me, Testimonies are flowing, so let me first tell the people on the radio another testimony in the upper. Aunt Grace had a, an acute pain behind her right arm, I remember. The upper room has a physical fellowship in Kabale on Wednesdays. So that day I had attended it. And she asked me to pray for her. Remember she was in the car. I laid hands on her. And she's testifying. She got healed before she would reach home. You'll get healed before today ends. The pain will go before today ends. Before this week ends, the pain will go. Your child will be healed before this week ends. In the mighty name of Jesus, your sugar levels will normalize. Your blood pressure will normalize. Tell you the truth. The anointing to heal hypertension is here. Let me tell you, my mother died of hypertension. I said then when I discovered these things, I said then I didn't know. Now that I know, that spirit of death will have to pay. And I am going to heal people with hypertension. And I'm seeing people, people healed of hypertension. We, the devil must pay back. The devil must pay. The Bible says when a thief is caught. When the thief is caught, he pays back seven times. Children of God, I want to announce that the thief has been caught. 
Bana barangani yenda barga ambra omushuma tumkwasi. The thief that has been stealing your health has been caught. Omushuma bena tuara magaraga we akwasi. The thief that has been stealing your finances has been caught. Omushuma bena kwatebi ya shaba. The thief that has been stealing your your health in your back has been caught. Omushuma bena kwata magaraga omugongo gua we. At the last stealing station, we caught him. There is a woman had had back problem for four years. We caught the thief. As healing station na we. This thief, this thief had kept Ruth from eating meat all her life. She came at one of the healing stations and the thief was caught. She went back and started enjoying meat. What are you talking about? The thief has been caught. That thief has... You know, there's a the, my friend. I keep telling you, my friend, who had the heart problem. Went doctor's brother and I laid hands on her. Doctor's brother can't And the thief was caught. And she was healed of the heart problem. In the name of Jesus, the thief that has been causing you depression, the thief has been called in the mighty name of Jesus, and he pays back seven times. He pays back seven times. That means that you will enjoy your health seven times more than you than you suffered. You will be seven times more healthy than how you are sick. I said to you, the thief has been caught. When the thief is caught, he pays back seven times. <laughs> Matthew 8 17 says, When evening came, they brought to him many who were under the power of demons. Now, your question would be, What would Jesus do? When they bring him many who are filled with demons. The next verse, the next verse tells us what he would do. He drove out the spirits with a word. And restored to health all who were sick. When they brought him those who were sick, all of them he healed them. That's what Jesus does. He heals all. His nature is to heal all. He touches all. The Bible says he shows no favoritism. If he healed me, he can heal you. If he touched me, he can heal you. What would Jesus do? He would heal all. What would Jesus do? He would cast out the spirits with a word. So this is what I am going to do. Because I am his representative. Because I'm his ambassador and he has sent me on his behalf, I'm going to do what he would do. So, whichever condition you have, that is because of a spirit. I command that spirit to leave in the name of Jesus. Uh, on Saturday at the healing station, we are going to be casting out spirits. If you have any spirit that disturbs you, any condition, there's a time a woman came to the healing station. She wouldn't sleep. She just wouldn't sleep. For many years, the thief was caught. The thief was cast out. And she started sleeping. She came back about, uh, I don't know whether it was three months, 
four months later akiza hara ile miezi nke na kesha tu she came up to testify i couldn't recognize her akiza kutereza burinyo kata chizuka because she had changed she was looking beautiful we na kurebe ka je thief had been called omushuma akakwasirwe that thief we are catching that thief omushuma ogotyo tumukwata i bind every spirit ni koma every spirit of the enemy sent against your life omoyo muviwona omuziku ya senchama galagawe cancel its appointment in your body in the name of jesus omagalaga omuzina ya yesu christo i cancel the assignment of the demonic in your life in the name of jesus daimoni omagalaga omuzina ya yesu christo and i command them to get out of your life in the name of jesus you see whenever we are saying in the name no reva jesus no reva twan to gamba is in the name of jesus christ we are doing what jesus would do to you and to call it jesus christ but because it is us and not him konkawo kujani twe ni taru we but we are doing what he would do konkati want to call it chiyo kozire so we say in the name of jesus i want to kujira omwizina ya yesu christ when we say in the name of jesus to kujira omwizina ya yesu christ we unleash his power the way he would unleash it to the kura manike okuyo kugare kwide i unleash his power in your body the kura manike omaga Money, I unleash his power in your business. In the name of Jesus. I unleash his power right now. All the conditions I have talked about. Leprosy is a skin condition. I speak healing from skin conditions. In the name of Jesus. The woman had a blood issue. Jesus healed her. I speak healing from from any issue in your blood in the name of Jesus uh, the woman had the bent back for 18 years Jesus healed her I speak healing from any back condition in the mighty name of Jesus uh, I talked about the blind man who had the issue with the eyes I speak healing to your eyes in the name of Jesus. We receive the testimony of healing from diabetes. So I speak healing from diabetes in Jesus name. We receive the testimony of healing from pains in the arms i speak healing from the whichever pain you are having in the mighty name of jesus be healed be healed from a chest condition i spoke about a heart problem be healed from heart issues let your relatives be healed in the mighty name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus this power breaks every chain i remember how Jesus healed Claire from that issue in the stomach that she had had for a long time. Pains in the stomach that could not be explained. I speak healing from any pain in your tummy that cannot be explained. I spoke about somebody who was healed and started eating what they could not eat. I speak healing that your body will start to do what it was not that your body will accept what it was not accepted I've seen people healed of motion sickness vomiting in the bus be healed of motion sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Now finally, we have seen Jesus heal all. Okay. We have seen Jesus heal all. So all includes anything I have not mentioned. I speak healing from all. 
I speak healing from all, all conditions because he forgives all our sins and heals all our diseases. I speak healing from all your diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. Go and do blood checks like the Betty's and the Joseph. Go and do a scan, the tumor will not be there. Check your blood, things have changed. When Jesus healed the leper, he told him, Go and show yourself to the priest so that you see evidence of your healing. So go to the hospital. And uh, get evidence that you've been here. Of in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to give you an opportunity to give. Uh, give uh, so that the work of God can continue. You've seen how people are being healed all over the world. There, there are so many who give us testimonies being healed over the radio, over the TV. When you give, you help us to stay on the radio. You help us to stay on television. Not television. And uh, different other platforms that we minister to. Na, na platform zona is to and remember this Saturday 26. Is the healing station. The healing station. If you are in Barara, or surrounding area. But even if you are far, people have come from Kampala. People have come from Kavari for the healing station. Now, what will happen to the Kampala and Kavari? We do healing station. You know, come. This Saturday we start at midday. Is your amkago on stand? Kasha amkaga. God shall. What would Jesus do? He would heal you. He would give you a miracle. Father, thank you for those that are giving. I pray that you multiply their gifts. And that you use it to bless thousands all over the world. And bless them. Bless their giving. Bless their work of their hands. In Jesus' name.